All right, so we're finally getting a chance to sit down at the end of our New Brunswick trip here with Tyler Swarm, who's uh, one of our pro mountain riders for photography in OSM Magazine and video for STV. And normally we see Tyler out west and we decided that this would be a great opportunity to finally bring a mountain rider back east to experience what we experience, trail rides. I mean, mountain stuff is great, a lot of fun, but we're flatlanders, we're trail guys. Yeah. And I mean, how many times have we talked about being at Snowshoe, talking to you guys about trails are cool too, guys. Like they are, you know, mountain stuff is cool and it's on everybody's bucket list. Yeah. But sure. uh, I, I mean, I don't know about you, but when, when we're talking about coming to ride trails and how great it is and, and what it's like, Originally, like, were your eyes glassing over? Oh, like, yeah. For years, you guys have been telling me about this, and I'm like, okay, how cool can trails really be? Like, yeah. you sit there, it's a flat green trail, and you just go ride for the day, and, like, how much fun could that be? Yeah. But I'm out here, I've ridden the trails for, like, four days now, and it is, it is insane what these trails are like. So like, we're cool too then? Oh, more than cool. I feel bad for all the years I didn't believe you that the trails were awesome to ride. I mean, it's it's not yeah. just flat. It's up, down, left, right, bumps, jumps. It's everything you can imagine. Maybe let's start with talking about your trail experience before uh, snowshoot and doing that stuff. Like, I mean, what's trail like for home? Because Idaho is home for you. Yes, yeah. My whole trail experience, uh, my whole life really, has been the incorrect trail experience, I should say. So we ride snowmobiles that are long, tall, and narrow, and that just equals a tippy ride that's not enjoyable on the trail. And so automatically my whole life, uh, trails just haven't appealed to me. We ride as little of trail as possible just to get to that good powder, the deep snow, whatever, yeah. the big hills. Um, but out here, it is a whole different story. I mean, there's warming huts every 30, 40 clicks. There's uh, restaurants out in the middle of nowhere, places to fuel up. Um, I mean, it's just a whole different story. and. The big part of it is the snowmobile clubs and how many people are involved out here making yeah. it happen. I mean, I mean without... the volunteers, right? I mean, right. Uh, in New Brunswick, I mean, everybody that's grooming the trails and brushing the trails and building the trails, I mean, they're doing just a phenomenal job of it. Yes. And it's, uh, I mean, that's, that's the passion for snowmobiling that's, that's in Flatlands. And I mean, I know there's a huge passion for snowmobiling when you're in the mountains. Of course. And, but it's, it's different. Because you guys don't really have the organization out there. I mean, there's some areas that are that are pretty organized, mm -hmm. but how does that compare to here, do you think? Oh, where I'm from, at least, it doesn't compare at all. <laughs> I mean, they're just worried about, okay, how do I get to the mountain as quick as possible, go shred up that powder and drop off the cornice, and then call it a day. Whereas out here, you know, it's everyone's making sure we're having a good time. You know, we're staying safe, we've got good trails, we've got places to go and uh, fun loops to go on. I mean, yeah. it's endless out here. It's, it's And uh, for a ride experience, I mean, at West you're climbing mountains, you're jumping off cornices, you're, the, the challenge of uh, powder riding and then the technicality of riding in the trees, yeah. you know, and, and you're, good, you're great at that. I mean, that's Thank why you. we use it for the photography of the magazine, like, doot, doot, <laughs> and there's your horn. <laughs> but what's it like to come back here and, like, and, and ride trails like we've done in the last couple of days here in New Brunswick? Well, there's every bit of technicality, just like riding the mountains. Um, like Different though, like not the same thing. But right, totally different. I mean, you're, you're zipping around corners, trying not to overshoot corners, uh, tackle the gnarly bumps if it's not groomed, you know, you've got some rough terrain. Um, but all I can say is, if you're not having fun on the trails, you're just not going fast enough and you're not trying hard enough. I mean, well, it, and, it, and it, there's a threshold for everybody's skill. Yes. But you can find a, a sweet spot riding trails that's that's going to be exhilarating. You know, no matter what speed you're going. I've known for years that these guys are great riders, but to see them on their home turf, see the type of riding they've always done, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm going as hard as I can, and I can't keep up with you guys. Like I'm trying, I'm trying, and I'm like, okay. I need to back it off a notch because my skill level isn't there yet. And and, and you did what I, I knew was going to happen. I got to tell this story. Oh, so we're, <laughs> we're going along, we're clipping along down a trail and it's pretty straight, great sight lines and everything like that. But all you trail guys out there, I'm sure you know this, that straight trail that looks like it keeps going straight, but at the very last second there's an arrow and it turns to the right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was out front and I knew you were coming. I make that right hand turn and I'm going, I bet she's gonna blow that. So I literally pulled over to the side of the trail and I 
turned around, sat on my snowmobile, and looked backwards. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, this blue streak goes. <laughs> right. he, blew, he blew the corner. <laughs> Knew it was going to happen. Sure. Enough. But I mean, it was a safe spot to do it. And if it was, uh, you know, if it was a little bit more dangerous, I probably would have been more interested in flagging you down to tell you to slow down and, and give you that warning that this is coming up. But mm -hmm. uh, but a great. It just looked like the trail went straight and. Other people were doing it because there was like seven or eight other yeah. sled trails that went in there. So I knew it was going to happen. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, what do you think this is? What are you, actually, what are you going to go back to your buddies back at West and say? Because they're, they're going to say, oh, yeah, you went trail riding. Sure. Uh, did you have to drink Red Bull like every five seconds to stay awake? You know, what right. are they? Yeah, what, yeah. Because it's, so it's so boring. It's so boring. Yeah. What are you going to take back to those guys? I think it's going to be challenging to convince them how much fun I had. Because my whole life, like I said, I mean, I've never been focused on trail riding. And now I can't wait to come back out. So I, I hope that next year I can actually bring out a group of my close buddies who have grown up in the mountains and uh, show them what this is all about. Because this has opened up a whole new side of snowmobiling to me that uh, is just a whole new type of fun. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. like mountain riding ever got dull to me or anything. No. But I just love everything snowmobile related, and this just added right to the bag of happiness, I guess. You know, <laughs> I, need to, I need to get out here and do it some more. So, sure. so, from the mountain guy. Yes. Trail riding. Cool or not cool? Absolutely cool. More than cool. You heard it. Yes. So, till next year, you gotta come back. Let's do it. You heard it. We're cool. <laughs> <laughs>